Johnny Pink, this video is about this PF. This is an F mount PF 500 5.6. I'm using 1.4 Tele on here. This is their latest version. It's the version three. This one uh, video is not sponsored by anybody but me. The reason I'm opening it this way is I always forget to say, hey, please give it a thumbs up. Well, I don't always, sometimes I do. Give it a thumbs up. That helps out the al algorithm and subscribe if you haven't. That's absolutely free. Now, let's continue with our regularly scheduled video. That's it, that's all you guys have is 4K. 4K, cropped 4K. Check, check test. One, two, one, two, check test. One, two. Oh, look at that, I'm recording. Awesome. pink the sun is coming out now so it's getting really 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 bright it'll go back behind the clouds there's dark thick clouds up there all right I had to adjust it because I was just I was too blown out and it was driving me nuts I couldn't see anything in there of course now it's gonna get dark and I'm gonna be too underexposed again ah, forget it I'll leave it this is the, I don't know, third time now, changing my exposure. Today I have been shooting, I, I put it in auto ISO. Normally I don't do that. 
but when I wasn't in auto ISO today, I was watching and using my exposure compensation to give me a little bit more light. I think I was shooting at 1 60th of a second at one, uh, one time. The weird thing about using this PF with the 1.4 Tele, it's a 5.6, so I would think that I would be like a 6.2 someplace in there. But this is showing me as an F8, which is really, it's a lot slower than I would want to be. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to take shoot a couple of photos. <laughs> Regional airport. I'm going to take it off and I'm going to shoot a couple more photos. I'll talk to you guys on the flip side. The cool thing is when I was editing all of the photos from yesterday, I like this lens. I like it on here. Oh, one of the cool thing about the, the Z9 that I have not yet talked about, and I haven't heard anybody talk about, is when, if you're using an older DSLR or any of the other cameras, you have the level in there, and when it's green, you can see where your level is. And when you're using that, you have to use the back screen. But in here, I've got that same thing, whether I'm in a vertical grip or a horizontal, it's really, really cool. So hopefully my shots are more level. And I realize when I eyeball it, I'm always off to one side. Kind of cool. All right, let me take this off, and I'm going to get a couple more shots of the hummingbirds. So I'll probably wander that way. And uh, let's see what that looks like without the tally on there. That should be fun, too. This is a neat, light little lens. A little odd balance, but it's awesome. Let's go this way. Have a fantastic day out there, whatever it is you're going to do. Thank you, thank you, thank you for letting me share with you guys. Give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hopefully you like the photos. We'll see you guys out there. Johnny Pink, we'll see you. Check, check, check. One, two, one, two, check, check. I think I'm still recording. I think it's picking up my face. Awesome.